This has got the fix it guy. We're dealing with a Maytag Neptune dryer that won't heat. It does spin, but it's not heating up, so it's probably a thermal switch. We're just going to remove these two screws and these two screws, take off the door, and then we can take the front panel off. For safety, we want to make sure that we unplug it or turn off the breaker. Usually just unplugging it is the best way to go. We already got out this one. We're going to take out the top one here. It's just a Phillips head screw. And then we got the bottom one out on the door. We'll take out the top one. That screw out. We're going to grab the door and lift it up. Kind of wiggle it out. These little legs come out. Now <clears throat> we can take off the front panel. We're going to pull it back toward us, lift it up, off, and we can figure out which component is not working. My suspicion would be this thermal fuse. So we're going to test it with a multi-tester. So we pulled one of the legs off. We have this set for auditory to tell us if we have a good circuit. So we're gonna test this thermal switch. And that one's doing fine, so that's not the cause of our trouble. Next thing we can do is test <clears throat> the outside terminals of the thermostat. They're doing good, and then we have a high limit in the back. Could be our culprit, test that. Yeah, oh, there we go. So that one's doing fine. So it could be that the coils are wearing out and it is heating, but just not heating uh, long enough to really dry the clothes. Probably gonna end up changing out these. Just wanna put it back together and then you know, watch it to see how well it heats up. So I'm gonna put the door back on so that it'll keep the switch closed. the front panel off, but I'm going to put the door back on. So I put these little legs back in, the bottom, do that for the top. There we go. Close it. Okay, that's closed. Got it. Plug it back in. We got set for time dry. Start it up. I'm just gonna stare at <coughs> the igniter. Make sure it's lighting up. So the igniter's glowing. But maybe the flame is not staying on long enough to dry the clothes. Pretty common that these coils wear out. Should get about a three minute, two to two and a half to three minute burn time. There's our flame. We just make sure that we're going to get about two to three minutes. So we only got about a 40 second burn time. It means these coils are worn out. We're going to remove them. We're going to remove two Phillips head screws. And these come off pretty easily. That one out, this one out. Okay, that screw out. And now we can take off this plate. It lifts right up. And then we can get these coils out. This one comes out. I'm gonna pull the connector off modular pulls right out Get this one off the bigger one I'm gonna pull that one apart got it clean up this area 
Once I installed the new primary and secondary gas coils and plugged it back in and tested it, I still got the same result where the burn time was only about a minute. It should be about two and a half to three minutes. And it turns out that the vent tube where it leaves the house was obstructed by just a lot of lint that had accumulated through the years. And here's a picture of it. When that happens, the heat cannot escape the dryer as it should, and the high limit clicks off the heating element. So once it was cleared, it worked again. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel.